New at six, Catherine Brown will make history when she's sworn in tomorrow as Precinct 4's constable. Brown will be the first black woman to hold the position in Precinct 4, but she wants people to know that she is more than that. Garrett Berger talked with the constable-elect about the road ahead. Catherine Brown's path to constable started with what essentially amounted to a dare. As a sergeant with the Bear County Sheriff's Office, Brown was active with the Deputy Sheriff's Association and served on its political action committee. When it came time for them to find a candidate to endorse in Precinct 4, Brown says her colleagues asked, why not you? And their key word to me was, are you scared? <laughs> and when you have all male deputies telling a female officer, are you scared? I had to show them better than I could tell them. Brown has served 19 years in the Sheriff's Office. On top of that, she's a mom, grandma, and survivor of both ovarian and breast cancer. Recently, she's been taking time to get schooled on the civil side of her new job. I've had the opportunity to ride out with some deputies in Precinct 4, and it's been an awesome experience. Very professional, they know their stuff, um, offered me a lot of job knowledge, so I'm really excited to move forward with them. Brown will be taking office at a tricky time. It's not going to be a walk in the park at all. It's going to be very tough. Once renter protections expire, many people expect a flood of eviction cases, which constables' offices will have to help handle. This at a time when Bear County commissioners just cut positions in all four precincts. In Precinct 4, they went from 16 deputy constables down to 12. It's going to create a catastrophe in our office because at that point, we no longer have the manpower to service those papers, to carry out our mission effectively. Brown wants to bring that issue back up with the commissioner's court and get more resources and manpower. Because first and foremost, she says, as constable, she wants to assist her deputies. Garrett Berger, KSAT 12 News. And Brown says that Sheriff Javier Salazar will pin the badge at midnight, and she will have an official swearing-in ceremony tomorrow afternoon.